This is chapter two, lesson seven. Uh, this lesson is percent of a number, and you can see the Cornell note page back here. So you are going to have to follow along either in your composition book or on a Cornell note page. Uh, what you see up here you should be writing down, pausing if you need to, backing up if necessary, and uh, there will be a hidden treasure puzzle somewhere in this lesson. Uh, today, uh, all our examples follow the same process. For finding a percent of a number, these are the steps that we are going to do. So. I'm going to write them down and then we will show uh, what that looks like in three different examples. Okay, so over here I'm just going to write find, uh, find a percent of a number. And here I'm going to write the steps, and then I will walk through the steps. I think it will make more sense after you see the examples. But the first thing we're going to do, and this builds on things we've already done in this chapter, we're, first thing we're going to do is write, write the percent as a fraction. That's something we've already done this chapter. Percent means always out of 100. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is divide the fraction into a decimal. Again, that's something we've learned how to do this chapter. Anytime you have a fraction, no matter what the fraction is, numerator divided by denominator will change that into a decimal. And then finally, the last thing we are going to do is multiply. So those are our steps. We just do that. Uh, this practice every time we follow those steps. And here's what they look like in some examples. So first example, find 15% uh, of 300. So these are pretty nice numbers. There's other ways that you could solve this, uh, showing your work in other ways besides this, but I'm still going to follow these steps for our examples. Uh, because these numbers are round, especially the 300, there's other strategies that you could use. But if I follow these steps, this is what they're going to look like. Write the percent. First thing I'm going to do is copy the problem. 15% of 300. So step one, write the percent as a fraction. I know that percent means out of 100. So I'm going to change this, 15%, rewrite it as 15 out of 100. Now, when you, have, when you see the word of in mathematics, something of something else, this always translates into multiplying. So something of something else, I'm going to write, instead of that word of, I'm translating it into multiply. So most of the time in math, when you see something of something else, it is multiplying. The next step is I'm going to divide the fraction into a decimal. This is something that we've done before. Anytime you have a fraction, you can divide numerator divided by denominator, and it's going to change it into a decimal. So I'm going to do 15 divided by 100 on my calculator, and that's going to give me 0 0.15 times 300. Now I'm ready to use my calculator. 0 0.15 times 300, my calculator says 45. 
Oh my goodness, I hear the math cat. We might have to have a visitor. Hang on, he's not going away. Come here, Frank. Come on, buddy. Oh my goodness. Frank seems to know whenever I am recording. Can you say hi? Hmm? You say hi right up close. Hi, Frank. Can you say hi, honey? All right, let's get back to it. Goodbye, buddy. See you in a little bit. Uh, where was I? Write the percent. Okay, I'm going to go back and highlight where these steps were. So write the percent as a fraction. That was this. Percent. Change it into a fraction. Divide the fraction into a decimal. Was this. That's this part right here. 15 divided by 100. And finally, multiplying. Zero point one five times three hundred is forty five. Let's look at some examples where we have percents greater than a hundred and percents less than one. Our process though does not change. So the next example is find a hundred and forty five percent of 320. This one is not an easy one to do with a mental math. This one, other ways we could have done it. This one, much easier to follow this process. So again, I'm copying the problem. 145% of 320. Sticking to my steps. First thing, write the percent as a fraction. I'll do that. 145% is 145 out of 100. Doesn't matter what that number is. If it's a percent, it's out of 100. Of becomes multiply and 320. Next step, divide the fraction into a decimal. My calculator, I'm going to type in 145 divided by 100 changes fraction into a decimal and I get 1.45 times 320. I'll multiply that and my answer is 464. Again, because I'm writing this down, I'm following the calculator rule, I can use my calculator as long as I'm writing down what I'm doing when I enter the numbers. So there's step one. Write the percent as a fraction. Divide the fraction into a decimal. And multiply. Of becomes multiply, and that's what we're doing here on our calculator. Uh, let me separate these examples just a little bit so they kind of look tell them apart. And one more example with a uh, finding a percent that's less than one. So this time find 0.25% of 58. Process does not change. Copy the problem, 0.25% of 58. First step, write the percent as a fraction. I take that number, even though it's a decimal, 0.25 out of 
out of 100, of becomes times, multiply, and 58. So the process, as you can see, has not changed at all. I'm going to tip this down just a little bit. Divide this using your calculator. Divide the fraction into a decimal. So 0 0.25 divided by 100 is what I'm putting in my calculator. And then I get 0 0.0025 times 58. I can calculate this. 0 0.0025 times 58 and my answer is 0 0.145. So going back and highlighting the steps, they stayed the same. Uh, all This whole page process never changed. Write the percent as a fraction. That's that. Divide the fraction into a decimal. That's this. And last is multiply. Doesn't matter if it uh, is a percent less than one, a percent greater than 100, or uh, a percent between uh, one and 100. Does it process right there. That's your practice for today. Stay tuned uh, for the pages to be assigned in class. And I will see you next lesson. Oh, the puzzle. Here's your puzzle. Almost forgot the treasure. You have a treasure puzzle today. Okay, here it is. Let me explain. So these dots form a triangle that's pointed straight up. So here is your puzzle today, hidden treasure puzzle. If you solve this, you could win the treasure. Here's what you have to do. You have to move only three dots, and you need to make the triangle um, upside down. So right now, here are your dots, 10 dots. You have to move only three dots and make the triangle facing down. So again, there are your dots. Make that on a piece of paper. Figure out how you can move only three dots, and then the triangle will be facing down. Okay, that's your hidden treasure puzzle. Um, see you next lesson.